Lucy for heard. welcome back to Forger. Today, we are moving forward with the game. Last episode, we got our first 12 levels. We made some fantastic progress, but now I need to make some room. I am like out, out of inventory space, so I need to make something happen here. Don't exactly know what that's gonna be, <laughs> but I'll, I'll do what I can, because I definitely need to get something rolling. Um, Because I can't hold any coal at the moment. You know what? I don't want to destroy my citrus out. I want to eat some more of that. I mean, the coal that's there, it'll just sit there for now. And then hopefully I can fill my inventory with more of it. No, 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 hold on. Just open that stuff up. And just do what I can to get more coal. That'll be perfect. That, just barely dodge that guy. But yeah, we're just gonna be working hard for all the kind of stuff in today's episode and really see how far it goes. I need to get a lot of flowers so we can make more tomes. But I got the brilliance level up before and that's definitely gonna help us get more level up soon. So it's really working towards it. Probably should have saved that fairy for when I had more uh, or less energy. And I gotta destroy this cow. I really need more hide so we can make more leather so that we can make more of the papers or more of the uh, books because books also give us some extra experience and that's what I'm really trying to get rolling right now. But in the meantime, we got plenty of trees to destroy, get ourselves closer and closer level ups. That'll always be good. We just bought a new island last, or did we? No, actually, no, I didn't. I was, I had, the, I earned the money to buy a new island. I can only afford this one though. 80 coins and look at that, on five lands we get a reward and a new area to explore that actually has our first obelisk in it. It's not the most awesome obelisk ever in my opinion, but it's still a pretty good one to get started with, so definitely wanna get working with that. So I'm gonna make my way back down here, maybe destroy a couple more things along the way. No, I still can't get the coal. That's fine, just need to get started with things. So how many, I have quite a few beets as well. Huh, okay. Where are my flowers at? Oh, here we go, got them. Just need a couple more flowers wherever I can get them. If I can make, how many flowers do I have right now? Three, if I can get five, I think that's what I need for, what's it called? I, I need that for the papers. Because right now I can't even make one paper, even though I need two more. Do I have enough for leather? Uh, I do. So I have three, I need to make at least five. We'll make that much out. Hmm. Oh, I have an inventory slot now. There we go, pick up that coal while I have the chance before it disappears forever. Just like up there. Once again, I might wait until I'm a little bit lower on energy before I use that fairy, but I can get plenty of more trees though. That'll be good. I mean, am I doing good enough maybe to make some glass? I think I need two glass for bottles, right? I can do it, but I don't have enough coal. That's fine, because I can definitely make a lot more coal now. As you can see, I have 117 wood. We're really starting to make our way up with that. So I'm gonna work on this a little bit, and I think I'll make a bridge across to that island down that way. So. Farming, bridge, boom. That's all I need to do, one singular bridge is all it takes. We got a bunch of these guys all over the place. Okay, my inventory might be, or my, not my inventory, my, uh, ow, that hurt. <laughs> there we go, my uh, energy might be low, but that's why I can go all the way back up now and grab that fairy. Okay, there's trees in the way first. Got it. Fairy buddy, there you are, thank you so much. <laughs> we'll grab a couple of ore rocks and then I'll make my way back down there. That's always good. Nice, okay. Getting close to level 13 already. Like, that's really good. The progress we're making with all that. Okay, looks about good that I can pick some stuff up over here. Oh, we don't have no room for the hide. I need one more flower. And there's a flower down here, perfect. And another flower. Uh, I don't know if that was a good idea to pick that one up quite yet. <laughs> uh, so I can make this stuff. And it's just making literally one paper. Just see how unproductive we are with the flowers right now. Okay, so I now have nearly enough. I need one more paper. I have enough leather, so we're literally we're just looking for that one piece of paper. If I can just keep getting flowers, that'd be what's the perfect situation, you know? But don't know how that's gonna work out. Hmm. I don't exactly know how I wanna work that out. But in the meantime, my best bet then is just to get more experience, get better things. I think we're gonna get the upgrade that gets us more uh, materials out of the rocks because definitely getting more coal out of them would be a dream come true. So I might just leave that coal rock for now because once again, coal is something I'm really lacking on. Ow, that hurt. Just eat more fish. I know I need to cook that up soon enough. But we're almost at this level up. There it is, excellent. So go to our skills and Way over this way, as you can see, we have mining, 
40% more materials. That sounds amazing, especially for the cold. That unlocked a couple of things. Masonry unlocks braziers. Structures cost 25% less stone. Structures cost 25% less brick. And we got prospecting. Rocks have 10% more chance of dropping gems. Increases the chances of finding rare gems when digging by 30%. Like, that's okay. Definitely later on, it'll be a nice handy little thing to have. Buff right now. I just need some more coal, and I'm getting some. We have 36 coal in total. Let's activate this obelisk, by the way. As you can see, foraging obelisk gains bonus experience from gathering herbs and crops. Only one obelisk can be activated at a time. So if we see any other good obelisk, I'm gonna have to hold out on them for now, unfortunately, but that's fine with me. So I'm gonna actually get this fairy soon enough, but I wanna be able to whittle down our uh, energy as much as possible before so. So get that and get this dude. So once he starts complaining about his energy being low, that's why I gotta get back to this ferry. Right now I'm not even picking up most stuff, I'm just trying to break it down, which I will pick it up eventually. I don't think it really disappears or I'll have to be there for a really, really long time for it to disappear. I don't know if I've ever really experienced that too much. Okay, not too much behind there. So, oh, there's some more flowers. That's definitely something we need to focus on. That's our second flower and our third one here. If we can get two more, we're gonna be in like a really good situation. Unfortunately, there's just not too many waiting for us. I don't remember flowers being this uncommon though, is the weird thing. I don't know why that's sort of a problem for us right now. But I probably should start working on some more coins at the least. I definitely have the resources to make those, so I'm gonna get started with it. There we go. So, not that one, but the furnace over this way. I can make, yeah, let's make a decent chunk of it. Craft 10 of them. And then with what I currently have, I can make five coins. That's good, it'll be multiplied by four. So that should be 20 coins, right? Something like that, I don't know. Gets a little weird. Get rid of that guy, that's good. And the slime, see ya slime. Okay, oh no, I lost my energy a little bit, but that's why we go up and get the fairy now. Thank you. Okay, so, oh yeah, flowers. Is there any flowers down here? Not quite yet. I'm sure there will sooner or later be. Or there's, I'm sure, sure there will be sooner or later. Once again, I'm still like super congested. Still recording it the same day I was last episode. Yeah, I hope you guys are enjoying, you know, Forager being back on a more regular basis. I'll try to upload as much as I can. It's sort of releasing at a busy time for me. I gotta be honest, I didn't have it scheduled in and then I was like, oh, it's coming out now. So I was like, okay, let me just cram this into my schedule. So if it's not an eloquent, el eloquent, el elegant amount of, uh, Uploading a forger, I do apologize. I'll do everything I can. Okay, come on, let's go ahead and break these trees. Already approaching level 14 now, that's good. I mean, it's definitely getting more and more demanding with each level up, as you'd expect. But if we can just get one more flower, everything will be amazing. And then I wanna keep building our islands to the left and see if I can't get to a place where there's some skeletons popping up. That'd be amazing. Our inventory is full again. Oh, there we go, flower. That's five in total. Go back down this way, make another piece of paper, and then I can uh, start picking up some of the hide. I think some of it may have actually started disappearing. Oh, that's sort of a shame. Yeah, I think maybe. Either that or I've been picking it up. No, no, maybe I p did pick it up. Okay, cool. There's our paper. Let's make our slimy tome. It's gonna take a couple of seconds to actually create, but it will be well worth it. Get that 10 gold, or gold ingots. Excuse me, Mr. Cow, you're sort of in the way. And looks good to me. Okie doke. So yeah, if I can make more glass, how much glass do I have right now? None. Uh, if I can make three, then I'll make three. Looks like I might actually be able to make one more now, which would be good. Because I want the glass to make bottles so that we can start bottling the fairies and just use them whenever we please. That's gonna be the most effective thing for us. That way we get experience for bottling them and experience for using them, along with the fact that we don't have to look around for them. They can always be with us. That'll be good. There we go. And grab that. There we go. <laughs> okay, so there's a slimy tome. Super excited for this one. Experience gained by, or gained increased by 30% is crazy. The next one is an Economicon, which unfortunately I need royal clothing. That's a lot more of a bigger ask than slime. So we'll be working for that one for a while. I'm not too worried about it at the moment, to be honest with you. So eventually for sure, now not so much. So. Got that done, super glad to say the extra experience gaining will be fantastic. As you see, we're getting seven experience just for rocks now, so pretty cool stuff. And over here, we got the tree. 
Nice. Okay, plenty of coins now. We have 237 in total. Definitely enough to buy land, right? Oh, uh, not quite. What's my cheapest one? We had 320, 280, 270. 270 is my cheapest one. Okay, I'll keep that in mind. Um, inventory is full, so I can't hold the glass. I can do that, and then I can pick up this glass, as you can see. That way, I can maybe make some bottles. How do I make bottles again? Right there. All right, well, we'll make one. If that's what I got, that's what I got. And eat the seaweed. There we go. Might be worth it to make a second. Hmm. A second forge. I need a lot more iron ingots and bricks. I can do that. It was like five of these and a two more of these. There we go, not too bad. Plenty of stuff to break now too. So I think the next thing I wanna focus on with the level ups is going to be swords. I mean, what are my chances of another backpack? I mean, I can actually, I don't know why I haven't started working on that. Oh, that is something I definitely should be doing. Um, Let's make five more thread for now, just to get that done real fast. As you can see, I'm really out of inventory at the moment and that's not so good. So that's making that and then I'll make some more leather with the thread, if it'll let me. I can make one for right now, just work on the one. Is my inventory full for thread? It's not, thank goodness. Okay, so that, that's my main focus at the moment. Just because I need that inventory as much as possible. Because we have plenty of jelly. There's a couple more thread. I need the thread to make the leather. But then I also need more thread. So I think I need four thread, that shouldn't be too bad. Okay, plenty more things to break over this way. Get back to it. I know a lot of this stuff is just showing out on the floor, but as soon as I make this backpack, it's gonna get a whole lot easier. I do have the bottle out and ready, so if I run into a fairy, gotta make sure I use it for sure. Okay, so I don't have enough room in my inventory for the thread now, this is becoming a big train wreck. What can I get rid of? I'd rather not get rid of any of this. Uh. Can I use the sand to make another set of glass? I would hope so. Or is it three glass it needs? It needs four. What was even wrong with that? What can we get? Oh, not quite. I need one more piece of sand now. Ay, ay, ay. It's actually not going very well. What can I get rid of? Uh, You know what? I'm just gonna turn the three gold. Yeah, actually, that'll, that'll work out perfectly. Uh, Do that, grab that, and boom. There we go, just get the the stuff out of my inventory, get more things working for us. So I definitely want to make like another bridge over like this, I think, because this might take up a bit more room than I had originally planned. I wanna make a forge right there and get level 14 out of it. Okay, so where I actually needed this is here. And we get a fair bit more coins, just enough actually, so I can buy some land. And we're gonna buy the cheaper of the two. Nice, we'll get another little puzzle. That one shouldn't be too bad to solve. And we can bottle our first fairy over this way. No, I did, I did the wrong thing. There we go. <laughs> Whoopsies, at least I got one of them. So let's go ahead and spend our one skill point. And I'm definitely gonna put some good use to it. Like I said before, I wanna get combat, which unlocks swords, increases dodge chance by 15%. And why I want the swords is for one specific reason. And that is later down the line, we can unlock a sword that works the same as a pickaxe. And after that, it's game over. We become so productive. It's so amazing. So that's definitely a big thing I'm focusing towards because we can make some major, major progress. And speaking of progress, we now have a bigger backpack. Adds four more inventory slots. So the next backpack, once again, is a pretty big ask for the royal clothing and stuff. That's gonna be a bit of work, but I'll definitely work towards it. Got a whole lot of stuff to break now. Now, I don't remember exactly how we increase our inventory, but there are ways. I mean, I know that we can donate to the museum. That's definitely a way. I don't know if it's the most effective way. So how many coins do I need? To move to the left, 800, 350. So I need 800 just to get to a place where there might be skeletons. That's not too impossible. I'm, a, I'm sort of forcing it a bit by doing that. I probably wanna go to the east and get some peppers and work on the basket, not the basket, the, uh, the wallet. I'll have to wait and see though. I mean, we got our first bone sword once again. If we need it, if we want that, we need to go to the west. So that's what I'm so tempted for right now. Anyways. I could do that. Are we running low on coal then? Sort of, kind of. Let me do that. That'll definitely be useful. So many things to break, my gosh. Just gotta keep going through it all. Dodge the slime as much as I can. 
And I think we have plenty of wood at this point, so I could probably start focusing on some other stuff. Oh my gosh, too many. And it looks like my obelisk is about to end at 36 seconds. Hmm. So what should I eat up for right now? I mean, I could use my fairy. Did that give me experience? Oh, maybe it doesn't give you experience anymore. Oh, huh, that's a shame. I know it definitely did in the past. Oh well, <laughs> that's fine. We have plenty of other experience sources at the moment, so we should be okay. Let's speed up this thing. And I'm just sort of waiting for the obelisk to end while I break stuff. Hopefully we can get there. Oh, I'm sorry, chicken. I was trying to destroy that little bit of wheat. And we're good. There we go. Another 10 minutes with it. That'll be good. So yeah, what are we making is a fair progress so far for the first 15 minutes of the episode. Two levels already. Hopefully plenty more along the way as we make our way through today's episode. Got that fish. Very nice. Okay. I'm trying to pick up whatever I can. So right now I just don't have any golden ore, but I have plenty of iron ore, so I can work on that. Basically just stowed away all the gold ore I just earned. Ow, man, what a jump you just made, buddy. I know I haven't cooked up fish too much just yet, and that's gonna happen soon, but once I start getting more consistent coal, I think. There we go, come on, almost level 15. But yeah, this museum's gonna be staring at us for a while. Anyways, we bought that island. I could probably start working on some stuff over that way now, so I think that's exactly what we'll focus on. I'll destroy some of this smaller stuff along the way, just because it's good to have. Oh, here we go, got some extra coal. Yep, definitely get this guy. Nice and nice. More coal is like one of the most important things we can have at the moment. It will be for a while, because it's hard to get it. Once we start getting scrolls and stuff, that's another part where it gets really crazy is scrolls. They're a little bit different from the books. And I definitely wanna get some soon. So as you can see, there's sort of some pillars we can activate here. I sort of did it in the wrong way for this one, just to show that I could activate them. But there's a certain order you have to do them in. And you might notice that each pillar has a different symbol. Uh, this one has one. This one has two little ends, three little ends, and then over this way, of course, there's four. Oh, and we got level 15 too, very cool. So we can go back, let me make a couple of bridge things, just like that, and that'll be pretty useful. Get a little bit more coal, and I need to make a key now. So if I could make, I need to make two more gold. So if I could find some gold ore, right over this way. Nice. So I'm sort of all over the place at the moment. I'm trying to change that up. Come on, there we go. But it's just sort of trying to make as much progress as possible on all fronts at the moment. Let's go to our skills. Lots of options. I don't know if I had anything I exactly decided, like maybe farming wouldn't be too bad, getting the shovel. I mean, this is boots and gloves. Like gloves would be amazing, actually. That might be my next best bet as we're working towards a pickaxe. So I'm gonna try for that. Soon enough, I'll have to do the shrines. Shrines can be okay, but like scrolls could be pretty good too. I need the, don't I need a table for scrolls? No, that actually works on the inscription table. Okay, that might be worth working towards soon then. Uh, for right now, we can do textiles. That'll be good. For like a base productivity stance on it. Okie doke. My phone is vibrating, sorry. <laughs> okay, so we should have enough now to make a key. So I'm just gonna quickly do that. A key for me. And let's keep going. But yeah, we're getting our first treasure chest of today's episode, right? Yeah, so that'll be good. We should be building up enough gold that I can maybe make some coins soon. I can only hope. We're definitely getting a whole lot more iron than we have been gold. But I am ready to change that up in a moment. There's uh, some ore waiting for us right down this way after I destroy the slime. Be gone, slime, be gone. Got him. And almost there. Boom. Very cool. So let's go ahead and make as many of these as we possibly can. Destroy the slime, get, pick up the key, and make a couple of coins. It's not much, but I'll work towards it. Here's some more ore. And the flour, and some fiber, lots of stuff. So I need to build my way over there, actually. That should be good. Definitely a lot more uh, wood going on 
just because of our bonuses with that. So that's been nice. I mean, I have 256 stone too. So like, things are starting to pick up in a lot better of a way. What do we get inside of here? Ooh, this is a shield. Gives a 35% chance to dodge attacks. That could be okay. Will certainly be more handy later on. I don't know why I've been using the term handy a lot. I don't even have hands, I have hooves. But it will definitely be helpful later on. But right now, it's not the most useful thing. So our energy is low. I'll eat some seaweed. I'll eat some citrus. But yeah, now it's starting to get a little bit slower with the level ups. We're at level 15, trying to get 582 experience in total. And it's getting just a bit slower to do that. But as long as I can get those gloves soon, I need to see what the requisite for the gloves are because that'll help us destroy things a whole lot faster because we can just attack faster. So we don't exactly need a good pickaxe right away if we can just attack with what we currently have a bit more productively. So let's make some more coins. Watch it, buddy. And let's see. So basic gloves, we need more thread and bone again. That's why I really, really need to make it to the west. So, I mean, I don't need the fiber for too much more, so we'll use at least half of them there. It can sometimes be good to have the base materials available for other things, so I try not to use all the materials at any given time, unless it's something super simple like gold or iron ore. They don't usually have too many other uses than just making gold or iron ingots. So yeah. Yeah. So 132 coins so far. I still have a whole lot more left to go. So I might want to, if I take a look, I don't know if I really have, like I have storage, optics, banking. Not, not too many of that stuff is gonna be crazy helpful for getting more coins. Like that's why I definitely wanna buy the wallet. Like maybe if I could just get 420 then. I think that won't be green. I think that'll be uh, desert. That might be what I have to do if I wanna make enough wallets to really get things going, you know? Lots of options. Ooh, catch 50 fish. Got ourselves a pretty cool thing there. And boom, got it. Okay. So lots of stuff going on around here. But lots to do as well. My energy is low, mine is too, buddy. I got it, I think I'm kinda cold. Uh, let's do that. Okay, so there's just so much to do around here. The coal and the gold are two of my big focuses, just so I can make more of that money. Almost at level 16. So like I can make a sword, but right now it's just, I mean, actually I cannot make a sword. I have the ability to make one, but not the materials. But like right now, it might just be easier just to build a little bit to the east so that I can build a wallet or the next step for the wallet. It just might be what I have to do. But in the meantime, working towards the gloves is really good. So basic gloves, ah, oh, that's right, the bones. Like, oh my gosh, the bones. I can never get away from them. I mean, there's also the other option of actually building a shovel because I know in some of the dirt spots you can find a bone, but it's not so common unless they've changed that. So lots of options for sure. Hard to decide which one would be best for now. And I wanna try to get as many level ups as I can in today's episode regardless, but there we go. Let's see how much gold I can make at the moment. I'm sort of going all in with it. I don't have too much gold ore. I usually have way more than this is the weird thing. So let me take a look around. And obviously there's some more popping up. But even then, it's only three each, which isn't too bad per stone, but the stone just aren't popping up very much at the moment. It's a bit odd, I don't remember it being that way. Oh, get this guy. Got it, okay. Hmm. Oh, I see this fairy. Definitely wanna capture him. Get the slime out of the way first. There we go. That gave me 19 experience. Have a thousand items in the inventory, really already? That was crazy. So we got ourselves another feat there. We have plenty more feats to get. I definitely wanna sit down and take a look at the feats sooner or later. Probably be more later than sooner though. <laughs> Just because there's so many of them and there's already so many things to do without taking a look at them, you know? But I think more were added. I think some of them were still impossible um, when I was last playing. So yeah, pretty exciting. But now they should all be doable. Build all of that, or grab all of that. Any more gold chilling out down here? Not at the moment, it's all just trees. Okie doke. Let's get back up this way. I'll just sort of destroy what's close because we are so close to a level up. We need 12 more experience, or seven. Can we get another seven right here? Uh, Not quite, oh, maybe I miscounted. Oh, it was 22, not 12, sorry. There we go, very cool. 
See, I'm just, I'm very undecided. We could go for the farming. I mean, I've gotten the textiles over this way. We got Frost Strike, which attackers have a 50% chance to freeze enemies, unlock spirits, spirit crystals. I don't know if that's useful. Faith. Um, Novice Scroll sounds so good as well, though. Like, ooh, these two. I think that maybe, but, but the materials, though, this is a tough thing. The materials for Novice Scrolls, I don't have too many, too much of an access to. So maybe farming would just be a better idea. I can make a windmill, which will make me some experience. Then we have, oh, what was the other thing? We got another thing leveled up there, or activated. As you can see, it's gonna be agriculture. Farms yield 25% more resources. Animals yield 25% more resources and unlock sprinklers, which can be helpful. Not exactly amazing craziness for now. But I could work on getting a windmill. I just need a lot more brick. So 30 of them in total. I can make 38, I just need 30. So work on that. Gold ore, once again, I'm just like, I don't have many gold ore. Access like that's where building to the east is going to be pretty good because I know a lot more rocks build up in the desert biome. So for right now, if I can do two, I'm gonna work on two. Just sort of nudging our way there. And let's double check what I need for the gloves. The bone. I don't know why I keep forgetting about the bone. <laughs> I'm such a dingus. But I can make a shovel now. Oh, we got an anchor. Didn't even notice that. I definitely want to sell it, but. I mean, I'd have to set up a shop, and that's another thing with level ups. It's just like, oh my gosh, never ends, never ends. I sort of want to save the fairy. I mean, I guess I'll run into more fairies. I don't think that gave me experience. Weird, sort of a shame. Okay, where in the world are some more gold ore rocks? Maybe over this way? Yep, we got one. It's waiting for me. Oh, thank you very much. Okay, so I think we'll be able to reach level 17 without too much of a hard time. But we still have a bit more work to do. Ooh, here we go. Got him. Oh, but my inventory's full? No, it's not. I just didn't pick him up for some reason. Got it. Okay, there's an emerald, which we already had one of those, so that's not too big of a deal. This is where vaults get very tempting. Vaults are still a bit more expensive for us to handle, which is sort of a shame. Can you get out of here? Thank you. Okay, catching this stuff. And this thing, there we go. Yep, I agree, you should eat. I think more citrus would be fine. Hmm, just like th tempted then, like would I wanna set up a merchant just so I can sell the anchor? Now, I know I need to eventually donate the anchor, but it's a pretty common one to get, to be honest with you. As long as I keep on setting up cooking pots or fishing pots, which I think I'll do right now. Let's do that. 43 experience. Wow, that's actually quite a lot. That was definitely good. I got 86 in total for those two that I built. I mean, I don't really need too much more than that as the thing, or I would build more. Got it, okay. Hmm. I don't see too much more to do down here, but I can activate the obelisk again. We're at 160 coins, so even for the, what was it, 400 over this way? It's quite the demand, 420, yeah. That's gonna be really tough to get to, but it's doable, for sure. Just gotta put down the effort now. Here's another gold one. It's like earning up the gold is sort of my main priority. I wish it was everything was my main priority, but that's, not always the easiest. Sorry, Mr. Chicken. Mrs. Chicken. Whatever you are. I don't know why I get that mixed up. Okay, let's grab all this stuff. Got some normal rocks I can bust through. Looks like all my bricks are done, which is exciting. Can't wait to get to the point in the game where it's like it just automatically collects when, when it gets made in the furnace. So that's gonna be amazing. Got it, okay. Level 16, things are going well. So I should be just about good to make the windmill. I am indeed. So where I wanna make the windmill is sort of the question at the moment. I could make it more like up this way. Or I can make it more to the right. I'm thinking just, maybe even here in the center. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but that got me some good experience. I didn't even see exactly how much, but looks like the bar went up a good chunk. That's always good. Uh, I don't know if I quite wanna use this fairy just yet. Soon, but not now. Okie doke. Energy is low, I know, I know. 
Okay, there's so many trees down here, it's crazy. Just don't have the resources to get them all. Okay, now I can use this. There we go. So, as you can see, I can make quite a lot of like different kinds of seeds and stuff. I mean, this is where it's good to, ah, dude, really, I just healed, you stinker. And I just got all the other stuff. So I probably should make a shovel then. I mean, I have enough for it. The shovel like is a one-time thing. I don't think you can upgrade the shovel, so it's worth getting in that way. Okay, I can make a bit more gold this time. That's exciting. Always gonna be worth our while. Hmm. I would like to catch that bug, but I don't think I can unleash it afterwards. I don't know if that's how that works. Pretty sure it doesn't. I'll have to sell it at that point and just get a new uh, a new bottle. Not sure that's what I want right now. There's just like so much going on right now and I feel like I'm almost at a more productive spot, but we just gotta get, keep getting more work done. Shovel, dig up dirt to plant crops or to find items. So that's where the shovel gets very helpful. And as you might be able to see, I might actually have to break this thing and recreate it because there is a thing underneath a, uh, Oh, there we go, our first bone. Very cool, I need to actually do something with some other stuff though. Oh, and I don't know what I'm gonna do with what. <laughs> but in the meantime, I could, industrial, farming, no, no, here. Oh, there we go, and I can use up my bricks and then pick up the bone again, very cool. I definitely need that bone for as much and as long as possible. I need nine more of them at the minimum for plenty of other things. Okay, so what I could do is turn this area down here into my farming area if I wanted to do that. I, mean, I don't have a ton of coins though, is a problem, so I don't know if I want to spend them on seeds right now. Well, actually no, I keep on thinking this is like some kind of shop. What am I talking about? <laughs> I can turn stuff into seeds, and then I can sort of turn that back into more of the product, so that could be very good. Thinking about my options. We could do cotton seeds for more fiber, I, don't, I think that out of everything though. I mean, if I could just get more peppers from the east, like that would be pretty crazy as well, but I'd actually need to get to the east, so that's the hard part. So I'm just sort of deciding. Inventory's full again because of this bone. I need to keep it though. No matter how much of a bone I have to pick with it. Let's get this guy a little bit, come on. Get rid of him, we're almost at level 17, that'll be excellent. But in the meantime, as many coins as I can make, I'm so low on, okay, if I'm that low on coal, might as well do that. Very good. And, boom, seven experience, not too bad. Just inching forward with everything. So more coins are definitely being stacked up. But in the east, in the in like the uh, desert areas, we get Pepper, which I can use to make pepper speed, pepper seeds, so I can make even more peppers, which I can use to make the wallet. Once I have the wallet, I can make coins even faster, which means I can unlock new areas, like going to the west, and then also, with peppers, I can make something else. I think I can work on the next backpack as well, or maybe that's just bones. I think it's bones and peppers. Something like that, can't quite remember. I mean, I know soon enough. Oh, there are new shovels. I don't remember that. Why do you need more than one shovel? I feel like that's new. There's like shovel upgrades. Don't know what the purpose is. We'll have to find out sooner or later. Uh, in the meantime, because like it just takes one swing to cover a hole in the ground, you know? So I wonder what that's about. I didn't mean to do that. Oh well, I wanted to actually bottle him. But anyways, we got our skill up. What's this gonna be? Hmm, so many options. This is where it gets really tough to decide. Because we have things like craftsmanship even, that it's like royal stone, royal clothing, like that's really good to have. But I don't really have the materials to make it work. So like maybe faith, maybe novice scrolls. I wanna see what the ingredients I might need for some of the novice scrolls are, because once we get those going, they can be really good. Um, we just don't have the right terrain for it at the moment, I feel. Okay. I don't have any gold at the moment. I can at least do that. Because we're getting closer and closer. Oh, here we go. What do I got? I got an arrow. I don't really need the arrows too much right now, so I'm not too worried about picking that up. To be honest with you. Not very worried at all. Let's grab this, though. And how much, uh, how much more 
Or how much wood do I have in total right now? 72. Nothing crazy, but nothing bad. Yeah, it really is that gold ores is rare, but I, I know it's more common in the desert, for sure. Just ore in general is. Not as many trees pop up either. So like less stuff is just sort of getting in the way of us getting the ore. And that is always good. Got two uh, coal ores down this way. And of course, uh, a little dirt there. But still no bones. I need those bones. Come on. Sort of stinks. Okay, we got plenty of things caught around here though. Might as well get those. Because I could go and make the store and you know sell the anchor, and I think that's what I might do next, but I feel like that's sort of like a means to an end in some ways. Let's eat the three seaweed. Got it. And use that to make that. Cool. So like with steel, what am I missing? I'm missing gold again. Like, and that's just sort of something I don't want to mess with at the moment. I wish it was something that only took iron, you know? Because I need to make steel to make royal clothing, right? Maybe I don't. Well, I need to make, yeah, how do I make royal clothing? Like I know how to. I need to unlock that one thing, but I don't remember the materials for it. Maybe it's not as complicated as I remember. I don't remember. Well, I know I need one of each gem, and I definitely don't have that quite yet. That's where it gets complicated. So I'm a little bit farther off from doing the, the royal clothing, so I definitely don't want to mess with that for now. There's like a lot of barriers to entry at the moment. That definitely makes it a bit more complicated formulating this plan that's gonna get us through something. Oh no, I'm sorry, chicken. I just want your eggs. There was another chicken, there was more than one chicken. <laughs> that's just confusing. Oh, definitely get this gold ore. And then eat up before our health gets too low. With us being more than halfway to my coin goal, like I'm getting a bit more optimistic about it. What am I doing? Just wanna attack this. And I'm a minute and a half away from having to activate the obelisk again. Man, it's already been 40 minutes in today's episode. I didn't even realize. There we go, we got that. <laughs> so, uh, wrong thing. I need this. I can make two more. <laughs> We're swimming in the money. Oh my gosh, it's just really hard to make that progress right now. Really hard. Make that. I'm really tempted just to try out the shovel. I mean, I don't need the iron ore for too much more else if that's all it is. And jelly and wood, but like those two ingredients, not that big of a deal. So we'll try that out, just sort of out of curiosity. And I could make some more. I might as well. I mean, now I'm a little bit lower. So I'll just beat up some other stuff. Get more wood, there's plenty around. Okay, let's clear this area. I feel like this would be a great area for farming. And once I have the new shovel, that might just be something I wanna try. Cause I swear there weren't new shovels before. I think that's something new. So I don't know what upgradable shovels will really do for us, but we'll find out. Maybe they'll give us more crops when we dig it up with that. Like, that'd be cool, right? Is it ready? It's almost ready. I am very anticipating this just to see what's gonna end up happening. Come on, let's beat up this tree in the meantime. Gotta spend our time efficiently. We don't wanna waste any, any possibility of making some good things happen. There we go, and what do we get? The water shovel dig area increased. Digging irrigates the dirt. Oh, that is so useful. So you would usually have to get a, a bottle. Oh, that's amazing. Now we got the nomad shovel. Man, I love the new shovels. We need five bottled beetles for this. I will keep that in mind. Oh my gosh, we're gonna be doing so much planning. We're gonna be doing so much. Um, Go ahead and do that. But man, that just like totally revolution, revolutionizes it. But usually you would need a bottle, you would have to irrigate it yourself. I don't have to now, like that's a dream come true. I wanna clear out this whole area as much as I can, as efficiently as I can, so that we can get the planting crops because that'll be a big productive thing to do. Especially if we can do like fiber or something um, because it's just a lot of experience, you know? I don't wanna do trees just because of the amount of time it takes to actually knock them back down again. I wanna do something that's like a one hit takedown kind of thing. Got it, okay. Oh, there's something to dig up here. What do we got? We got some bones! Okay, we're at three in total. That's exciting. I know I need at least 10 for most of the things that I want, but I definitely want, hmm. I feel like I'm gonna, yeah, I'm gonna get rid of the arrows. It might not seem like a good idea, but it certainly is. 
because we do not need them. We can make tons of them later on. And that's actually a money-making strategy I've tried in this game before. It works out pretty well and we'll probably show it at some point in the future episodes. Money and experience, like, it just goes pretty well with that. Especially with the obelisk up north that gives us experience for some other stuff. Oh no, we actually have enough for the bone sword. Oh, I think I gotta do that. I mean, I feel like, mmm. Bone sword or bone pickaxe? I feel like I gotta do the bone sword. It's our first sword. It'll be really helpful for taking out enemies. Oh my gosh, there's so many options. So many options. It's both wonderful and treacherous. So how are we doing on ores? Do I even have any gold to make? I have one gold. <laughs> okay, in the meantime, beat this stuff up. But I'm gonna go with the sword first, and then, of course, afterwards, I'm, I guess I'll make the bone pickaxe. And another little dip in the floor. Unfortunately, no bones for us that time. I'm glad that we we're able to find some bones some way, though, you know? That's not what I wanted. Uh, there we go. I irrigated a thing that was already irrigated, but if it works, it works. So I need to go back and pick up this gold ore. There we go, 12 more coins. Oh, and here we go, the bone sword! Deals 50% more damage to enemies. So if I want to, beat up things, no problem. And now I gotta start working on the next sword. Like, we're always seeing what I gotta do with it for it. So we don't have any topazes. And topazes are just like, you know, the amethysts and emeralds. We'll just have to sort of find them. And steel is gonna be another big challenge for that. But honestly, if we can find those topazes, this one's at least a bit more doable. It's not about finding a specific material we don't have at the moment. That'll make it difficult. So yeah, keep working on that gold ore. We're at 314 coins now. So, oh, I can make six more. That'll be good. Very, very good. Oh, I see you. What do we got? Oh, two amethysts there. That was really good. Oh, hello. Um, I might drink you. <laughs> Not drink. That's sort of weird to say it that way. Uh, oh, there we go. And let's see if can I get something good in here. We get ourselves uh, a coin out of that. Cool. I'll take it, we're at 315 now. 105 left to go then. So definitely going back to cleaning up this area will be a good bet. Is there another diggable spot under this tree? There is. Get another bone, so I'm at two. So if I can get the four, that's what I needed for the pickaxe. That'll be a good deal. Is there another one under here? No, it was sort of a little bit of a flower. And of course, more stuff is gonna pop up here as we're digging, but Relatively, I'm making some good progress. Let's activate the obelisk, so I'm getting some extra experience that way as well. I need to eat soon. I might as well. And let's see what's going on up here. Got that stuff. And I thought that, oh yeah, right here. It sort of hides behind stuff a little bit. It's a weird issue. Why is this not working? There we go. Ooh, two rubies, I'm at three in total. I don't know why we're getting doubled up stuff, but man, I am not complaining. Really good. So I have enough, ooh, to make some good coins. That might actually be enough for buying the next island, which I'm pretty sure is gonna be a sand biome island. That'll be really good. And then there's another digging spot popping up. These things are just popping up left and right right now, it's beautiful. Get rid of this guy. So now we have more tools, which is great. Definitely making a way forward with all that kind of stuff. And, got it. All right, level 18, I wasn't even paying attention to that. Very cool, that sort of snuck up on me. So definitely not as many levels in today's episode as the previous episode. We, last episode we made 12, this time we only made six so far. But that's still a pretty good pace for how much more things are getting difficult. Ah, uh, still so many things to think about. Potions I feel like are too far down, same thing with shrines. Like there's hunting, but yeah, I don't think I need hunting. Like I could try vaults. I could try vaults just to sort of get, get a good benchmark at what do I need to afford those. But I'm probably missing some obvious level up stuff. Like I said, I might be a bit rusty with this entire run because I'm not super familiar with every level up path at the moment. Sort of falls out of memory after a little while. But yeah, that'll be an economic and it's super expensive with the steel. It's doable. I'm gonna stop worrying about money as much now that we can buy this island to the east for 420 coins. And yes, it's a desert biome one. That'll be good. Because now hopefully some peppers will start popping up and then I'm gonna make a big pepper farm where the uh, obelisk is for sure. And that'll be great. So farming, bridge, get across to there. I'm super happy about it, super excited for it. Because peppers are exactly what we need at the moment. 
The only problem being, and this is a uh, temple. I'm not gonna go into that temple in today's episode. That'll be definitely for next episode. But I am looking forward to it. Okay, I'm using this guy. Definitely looking forward to it though. So is there anything to dig up around here? We got some cacti that we can beat up. Can't pick those up. Inventory's full. That's sort of a shame. But I can at least get something for it, experience-wise. Oh, I see that guy up there. Think I might go for him. You know what I could do? i change this up a little bit. That's good. Beat him up, beat him up, beat him up. I dodged it, nice. Okay, that little shield's actually becoming helpful. I like it. Oh, we got another amethyst. So far, no topazes out. Been a bit unlucky with it. Oh, what do we got here? Rubies. Once again, good. It's not entirely what I was looking for. Okay, got it. For a second, I thought I didn't have the inventory for it. Here we go, here's a topaz. So what can I clear out for it is the problem. Oh yeah, three seaweed, not a problem. And there we go, have one of each gem in your inventory. That's another big one. Glad I'm getting those figured out. Let's get rid of you. Thank you. <laughs> got some gold ore over this way. And now I'm just sort of waiting for some peppers. I need to get a good couple of them to make pepper seeds, but then we're sort of in business. Then we can start rolling with it and just sort of exponentially make more and more of them. Kill 100 enemies, getting feet after feet right now. Trophy after trophy, challenge after challenge, all so many words for them. Okay, this area is pretty cleared out. I wanna keep it that way. Nice and clean for now. <laughs> like keeping a clean lawn. Lots of lawn care going on. Also make sure we're getting more of this stuff. And you thought, I think next maybe I should just do the store. I know I've been sort of bouncing back and forth on that one. Okay, no peppers yet. I really hope we get some peppers soon. I mean, now that we're getting 960, 900, that's actually more expensive than going to the West. So I will just go to the West for more bones soon enough. Okay then, well, I think we made some awesome progress in today's episode for sure. I think I might just make a little bit more in today's episode and then we'll try to get some peppers and go into that temple in the next episode. I will grab some of this and some of this. I think we'll leave it just about that. I will set some things up for it to get going. Maybe some of that and as much gold as I can make and then dig this up for good measure. Oh, two more bones. Okay, so yeah, we'll finish things up by making the, the bone pickaxe if I can make more bricks. Right about that part. <laughs> That'll be our main goal for finishing things up in today's episode. That'll be cool. Shouldn't take too long with the gold then. All right, now I know what I'm, what I'm doing. Got some extra coins there. Very nice. And soon enough I can start making steel. Oh, I don't even have enough for that. Enough room. Oh, that's a problem. I need something to get rid of that gold ore in my inventory. Might just have to delete it. Like, oh my gosh, if I could just get a tiny bit more. I wanna do this, this hurts to do. But I just need to do it because I need inventory and I don't really see what else I could cover up. Cause I don't wanna get rid of any of the gems, of course. Or you could just like drop something for a second, you know? That'd be really helpful. I mean, I got one piece of glass, like that's awesome, not too helpful just to have one. I know I need every material I can get, but I just need a little bit more inventory so I can make a vault. If I take a look at economic, okay. Hmm. Cause I'm also trying to make the, what was I trying to make with brick? Well this, right? Or no? No, no, no. The pickaxe. Yeah, okay. <laughs> I don't know how I'm that forgetful. So I need 18 brick in total for both of those things actually. 10 thing. Work with that for now. Might be good then to do that and make a third furnace. Three furnaces isn't too outlandish after we get a little farther into the game, so. For steel, I can make two steel, it's something. I definitely just need more gold. More gold ore, more more gold ingots. Get that going. I know I deleted one, so I'm sort of hypocritical by saying that, but it's, it's still true. I need three steel and I'm making two right now. Well, I don't even have the inventory to pick it up too, so maybe that was a little bit silly of me. I guess we'll find out. Man, oh man, it's sort of tough right now. I mean, I could dump like all of them. That might be another thing I might just do here is dump all my fiber into there. And like when it's just one fiber, once again, I'm sort of fine with deleting that. I'll be able to get plenty more fiber for sure. But I need a place to put that steel. That is a fact. Well, is that gonna take up, where's thread? I do have thread in my inventory. Okay, so I'm good. I know it's like this weird, like iffy amount of management. And that's where level 19 will come in handy as well. Because if I could just get level 19 and get the, the store, I could sell the anchor. Oh, we got our first gold ore over this way. Yes, and we got the peppers. 
Oh, but I don't have the inventory space for the peppers yet, so I might leave them. Oh, we got that too. An archaeology, yeah, dig up an archaeology item. I really want to pick that up, but I can't. Oh, we just got to rush to our next level. That's what we got to do right now. So many things to juggle, but also pickaxe. Pickaxe would be good for that. So I'm building that. That'll take some time. Destroy some of this stuff. And that's getting us closer, but not as close as I need. Destroy the iron ore. So I think that next episode, I think things are really gonna get rolling next episode for sure. Okay. Roll back over this way. Got that going on. Whatever I can dump into here, I'm gonna try to do. Like there's, that was all my iron ore. Oh, pick up the two steel. Can I make any more? I need three more gold ingots. So there's two. So I need four in total. I'm making one more here. And there it is. Very, very cool. We get ourselves our bone pickaxe. Damage is increased by 150%, gain 50% more bone when killing skeletons. We don't even have skeletons to kill at the moment, but hopefully soon at some point we'll be able to do that. As you can see, we are attacking trees a little bit faster, being a little bit more productive with it. Okay, so I know it's been a bit scatterbrained, but we're slowly but surely making our way through all of this action, and that is fantastic. So yeah, in the next episode, hopefully we'll be able to do more of that. But for right now, that is gonna wrap it up for today's episode of Forager. If you watch this point of video, make sure you comment Zebra Bones, so now you've watched at the end of the URA Zebra Tastic Viewer. Take a moment to leave this one on your screen right now, or by subscribing to join the Zebra Herd. Either way, thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time. Bye bye.